What's going on, YouTube? This be your boy, Jay. TZ, we got Fred Raven in the car. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But first, I do want to tell y'all, thank you from the bottom of my heart. We hit 200 subs, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. We done went beyond that and everything. So, shout out to y'all for that. Appreciate all the support. Thank you hitting that like button. Now, this morning, the Retro One Electro Oranges came out, and I took an L. She took an L. She took an L. And on my size, and you know, I, I'm i sick of this, man. It must only be like two pounds of this shoe. This shoe ain't got no resale value to it, and it's just gone. It's just gone. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's because people think that they gone, I don't know if people gonna just like paint the back of them and make a shadow backboard meet a uh, custom or something. I, I don't know. I really don't know, but they gone. So, Fred Raven back here want a shoe all the way in Montgomery. For those of y'all who don't know, Montgomery is an hour to an hour and a half drive. So, we going to Montgomery. Maybe we'll bump into the shoe. Maybe we won't, but we'll see. So let's get it. Let me tell y'all something. To get to Montgomery, it only take an hour to an hour and a half. Tell me why today it's like four, five accidents on the way down here. We just coming to try to get a shoe. That's it. That's literally it. We had to go over the hills and everywhere to try to get here. Down through parts of Alabama. Us African Americans should not be. But anyway, on foot. Yerd, breads, let's rock. Alright y'all, so we just found a little resale shop in this mall before we go because I ain't found nothing. But as you can see, they got a little bit of heat in here. We got the Spider-Man's up there. Polish the homes. We got the hens. Hyper Royals. They got some locusts. They got some bacons. They got yeah, I was saying pretty much how it is. I'm not sure how it is. They got the pieces on there. They got the sand. They got the zebras. The clocks. They got a little dog action. So, a little bit of something, something up here. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't picking up nothing. They got a little more heat up here at the front, though. They got the Hall of Fame Kobe joints. They got a little bit of something, something up here. All right, Bruh had a couple things, you know what I'm saying, in his little sneaker stop. I don't know if that was like a pop-up or what, 
but I just couldn't pay them prices. See. Them prices was out the wazoo for me personally. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell people how to spend your money, man. I'm just saying, the union's going for like $450, $500 online, and he selling them, um, and he was selling them for $650. I saw that, right? She mad because she wanted a fleshy and they ain't got one. So I guess they got rid of all the ratchet flavors they had when she was growing up. So yeah, when we get back to the car, I will definitely show y'all this shit. All right, y'all, so we are finally back. I apologize if that L is blowing a little bit, but it is hot and cheer, man. But we got the shoe in hand, so of course, you got your regular Nike box, regular Jordan box. Take a look at the size label. We got an Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. This colorway is white, black, electro orange. This is a size six, so you know it ain't my spell. But flipping the lid back. And uh, let's see. I don't know, man. They look a little bit different than the gray school sizes. Let me actually go ahead and get these laces out the way for y'all. Oh, no, y'all. All right. So, I oh, don't know, y'all. Usually, the pairs don't be looking like that. It's almost like one of the employees tried these on. But, who knows? It's still clean. So, break it down. Of course, got your all orange outsole. Regular Jordan 1 outsole. It's just orange. White all the way around on the midsole. On the mud guard, you got that black coming all the way up. The eyelets on the mud guard all the way on the front of the toe box. You got a white toe box. And you do have a white side panel, white heel. It is a different kind of color blocking for Jordan 1s, I must say. And then you do have that orange popping on the ankle collar. And you also have that Nike Air on the tongue with the orange check mark, of course. And of course, you're gonna have that Air Jordan right there on the uh, on the collar. Now, before, but I didn't even realize this, y'all. It did come with extra laces in the box. I wasn't looking for them. I wasn't even thinking about it because for one, a lot of times, grade school players don't get the extra laces, but the ladies and my young ones, y'all got the extra orange and white laces this time, so that's dope. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to y'all, man. I was real hurt behind this shoe, man. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I really do like this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look a little different when I if, when I get a pair in hand, because I don't know why they be making grade schools and the men pairs look different. But, yeah, man, I think these joints are a go. It's not a whole, whole lot to say about these. Resale did jump up a little bit, and grade school is blessing. But the men is probably like around 240, 250, but you know what I'm saying? It's still a straight shoe. If I had to give these a grade, I'd give these a solid 7.75 out of 10. Definitely a dope summer vibe shoe. Let me know what you guys think about this shoe. Let me know what y'all think about everything in the vlog down in the comment section below. Always great to hear from y'all. And of course, this be your boy Teasy, live from the 205 with the Air Jordan 1 electric orange. And we out, peace.